Hi everyone, my name is Hilary Palate. I am the manager for National Youth Preparedness Programs here at the American Red Cross. And like you, uh, will be, I served as an AmeriCorps member as well. Um, I was lucky enough to uh, volunteer with the Red Cross in grad school. And when I finished, I applied for a position as an AmeriCorps member down here in Los Angeles. And I've been with the Red Cross for about seven years now. So. I hope that that's some indication of what your year of service could lead to. Um, I was lucky enough to manage two years of teams and to also help hire three. Uh, and when Taylor asked if I wouldn't mind speaking, I was really excited at the opportunity to um, share a little bit about my experience because personally, I feel like I learned more from managing teams than I did in my year of service as well. I'm really excited for Taylor and all returning members. This is an incredible opportunity. Thank you for serving again. Um, and without further ado, I'll talk a little bit about my experience. Um, so I don't want to scare you, but I will say that uh, as an AmeriCorps member, my experience included uh, sleepless uh, nights on call as a disaster action team member. Um, I was always worried I wasn't going to wake up when my phone rang. So I'd sleep with my dat clothes at the end of my bed and my phone on vibrate, uh, like right nearby. Um, I never missed a call, uh, but it, it was a little bit of anxiety. Um, rooms full of screaming, excited children while you're, you're there to train them in the pillowcase project. Um, more than one time showing up to a senior center, uh, ready to train and train them on preparedness only to find out that they had no idea I was there or that I was supposed to train them and they went to lunch instead, despite lots of emails and confirmations that that was the time and place I needed to be there. Um, trying to sleep in the emergency operations center at 3 a.m. in the freezing cold, um, responding to home fires um, and, and supporting families uh, in my community, uh, supporting back-to-back -back weekend and weekday events for community outreach. I mean, you will have all kinds of opportunities and experiences this year. And like mine, they will probably include uh, at least a tiny bit of stress. Um, so remember to be flexible, adaptable, patient, and kind, uh, because there's a lot of good work for you to do out there, but sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. What I'm also sure of is that your year of service is going to include laughter, a lot of it, um, silliness, and things that just don't and won't ever make sense. It's just the Red Cross way. Just go with it. Um, it'll likely also include a, a genuine feeling of knowing that you just helped someone, really, really helped them when they needed it most. Um, and a camaraderie with your fellow AmeriCorps members and your new Red Cross family. This isn't just a place to work. It's a community. It's a family. And like all families, there are good times and there are challenging times. Um, but there's always someone there to listen, to emote, to share, to remember, to smile, and sometimes to cry with. Um, it, in the seven years since I served, I can't tell you how many times I've had the chance to tell somebody that I was an AmeriCorps alum, and the further I get away from it, the the more and more grateful I am that I had the chance to serve um, and that I was lucky to do so for that year. I learned a lot. <laughs> I learned about food stamps. <clears throat> I learned about what it was like to have basically no extra funds for anything. Once again, thank you in advance for your service. Um, I learned about my community. I learned what it takes to do something right. Uh, I learned the value of preparedness and I learned over and over and over again just how lucky I am. I'm, I'm sorry that I won't work more with you all directly um, because you will have a great time and outlook. Um, it's reminding me to make my video for you right now. <laughs> You will have a hand, either directly or indirectly, in helping me through the communities that you engage, through the students that you train um, directly in the Pillowcase Project, or by training volunteers and building the sustainability of your team out there. 
uh, last year, we trained more than 300,000 students in the Pillowcase Project, and that was in huge part to the work of AmeriCorps members. Um, our first year of the program, we trained 4,000. That's huge. And the program is growing because of people like you. If we do our job right, then we're training young students, and it means that we're creating a generation of more prepared adults and families, and hopefully a culture shift in how we help each other through volunteer work. I see it every day in the thank you notes that I get, in the follow-up emails, the news stories, the, the contact I have with my volunteers and with the sites that we reach. The work that you're doing makes a difference. AmeriCorps members bring a breath of fresh life into the work that we do in a way that may be hard for you to understand until you've supervised a team yourself and you see them grow and what they're capable of. Um, it's, it's really amazing. Taylor, I'm so excited for you and all the returning members as well. Um, it's a new experience and it teaches you a lot. I'm sure that we've all come across the words of Margaret Mead. Uh, they really do feel like they embody uh, the people that you'll meet uh, in the work that we do here. Uh, but just in case you haven't heard them, uh, I'm going to quote them so that I don't mess this up. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Now, whether you feel this way uh, every day in the work you have ahead of you, and trust me when I say it's possible that you won't, there might be some days when you're just like, what am I doing here? <laughs> What's going on? Um, just know that you will make change. You will be impactful. I have no doubt that this year of service will, even in your own life, uh, help you play a part in shaping your future passions um, your own internal resiliency, and the strengthening of your community and the world around you. And when in doubt, when you feel stressed and overwhelmed, if you really need it, embody the things that we teach and the coping skills that we try to pass on to our students. Breathe with color and picture yourself being confident and strong because you are, you've got this, you can do it, and you're going to have an incredible year ahead. Um, on behalf of National Youth Preparedness Programs, thank you, thank you, thank you for what you're, you're getting into. If you ever need anything, please shoot us an email at pillowcaseproject at redcross.org, or you can contact me directly at hillarypalate at redcross.org. I'm so grateful for your service. Thank you very, very much. And Taylor, thanks for this awesome opportunity. Bye.